Once upon a time, a baby boy was born, and word got out that he was special. Look up there, look. Our people wanted to come and see him, but the more people came, the more tries it would lead to the king. God's watching. He's coming for you. And that was bad because the king was evil and he was jealous. Why does the devil want Arthur? He wanted to stop the boy from growing up because he knew that he could never compete with the son of God. The demons! Yeah, they're everywhere. They, they try and get in my head and, and steal my thoughts. But the child's mother, Mary, she protected him. No, you, you stay there. Is that the three wise men? Yes, bringing their gifts to Jesus. Only Herod, king of the Jews, he tried to trick him into betraying Jesus. Betraying him? How? No, I can, I can see you. I promise. I can see you, you're a liar. Well, he didn't want a rival, so he pretended that he wanted to worship Jesus. She said it was, what? The devil. Look, look at him, look. He's the Lord of light. Are you the devil? he asked the wise men to come back and tell him exactly where Jesus had been born. He's come again. He's, he's the son of God. I saw him on Halloween. But Kyle, Dad, he was watching over me. I can see him now. I can, I can smell the devil on him. I see the devil. You know, don't you? Know what? He is Christian's son. I see the devil. I see the devil. What an angel he is. But they were warned in a dream not to trust him and to go back home another way. Herod, Herod, oh, he was ever so angry. So he... Well, go on, tell me, I want to know. Well, he ordered all the little boys in and around Bethlehem of two and under to be put to death. you have just seen is selected clips from a recent storyline broadcast on national TV over Christmas and the following weeks into January, BBC One show EastEnders, seen by on average 20 million people each week. This story centres around Stacey, a young woman who has been in years past diagnosed with bipolar. Her mental condition takes a dramatic turn for the worst in a series of events which begins when she develops a form of psychosis, manifesting in the form of a messiah complex projected onto her newborn baby. She becomes convinced her baby is the second coming of Christ, she talks to God, she sees demons and even the devil. The story however has a dual interwoven theme which on the surface combines an upfront association with a belief in the Son of God with a psychotic mental disorder and the underlying occult or hidden story symbolically heralds the birth of the Antichrist. It begins for the most part when the baby was born during a nativity play in which the story of the manger and the inn is altered and changed from that which you would find in the Bible by a character in the show to include Islam. Oh, here we go. What, are you doing? what did he say? Yes. We can stay in this table because Islam welcomes all faiths. So that's what you're doing with the script. That story needed updating. This altering of the scripture is nothing more than pro-Islam propaganda and is not historically accurate. Islam didn't exist until 700 years later, at the time of Christ's birth. The people known as Muslim today were known as worshippers of the moon god Hubal, the lord of the Kaaba, so referred to as Al-Ilah. 
When the words, Hail Jesus, are said, Stacy immediately cries out with birth pangs, and the baby is then born a short label later. Oh, hail Jesus! Oh, hail Jesus! Son of God! I think I forget to push. Well, how far are they? I think he's coming now. Well, you saw an ambulance. A few days go by, and bit by bit, Stacy's behaviour becomes odder and odder. She is hiding a secret, a secret that eventually eats away at her mental state. And after interacting with certain characters, she then becomes visibly agitated and worried. The appearance of a new character who is uniquely connected to Stacy signals the beginning of the visible change in her character, which is, from this point on, an inescapable downward spiral into madness. In order to get the full picture of the hidden story beneath the surface, we have to go back to October the 31st. Halloween. Sam Hain, or Sawin, is a Gaelic festival marking the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter or the darker half of the year. In the occult, Halloween was the time for human sacrifice, and Stacy, while pregnant with the baby, is electrocuted by a 240 volt plug, which someone had tampered with while trying to fix it, but left it unsafe. When Stacy is laying on the floor, the show itself plays the scene as if the heavens have opened and Stacy is speaking to something. Please stay here, just talk to me. Stay here and talk to me, please. Please, let him go. And normality returns. Stacy and the baby survive the ordeal and her husband Martin arranges for a local newspaper to do a story on the event. The headline reads, Miracle Baby. At the bottom of the page, there is an advert of vacations, or holidays as we call it in the UK, with the writing, Winter Sun. And sure enough, Stacy's son, or S-U-N, is born on the winter solstice. In the occult, the sun dies on December the 21st, the shortest day of the year but then it begins to come back to life again on the eve of December the 24th and then it makes its full rebirth on December the 25th. They believe this to be the birthday of Nimrod or Baal, the sun god. The baby's birth was broadcast on the Gregorian calendar, the 24th, Christmas Eve, but in the Hebrew biblical calendar, the sun has set and thus it's the beginning of the next day the 25th. The secret that Stacy has been keeping reveals the key to what the show is telling you on a subliminal level. The father of her baby is not her husband Martin, but rather her best friend Shabnam's husband. His name is Kush. Kush is a biblical character who is the grandson of Noah and Cush begat Nimrod, and he began to be a mighty one in the earth. Cush's son Nimrod was the first king mentioned in the Bible, the king of Babylon who built the infamous Tower of Babel and is the archetype of the Antichrist. Nimrod sought to turn men away from God by setting up a tyrannical government and a new religion. In fact, the new religion centred around Nimrod and his wife, Semiramis. Eventually, this religion evolved into Baal worship, from which all the pagan religions of the Middle East and Europe later developed. According to the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry, the legend of the craft in the old constitutions, Nimrod is one of the founders of Freemasonry. In fact, initiates in at least some forms of Freemasonry are still required to take the oath of Nimrod, even today. Lucky we were close by when you called, when I waited for Masonic Day. Of course you were. When I waited for Masonic Day. Masonic. From the very moment that initiates take the oath of Nimrod, 
Masons are plunged into a very powerful dark world based on the ancient Babylonian mystery religion that has nothing to do with the Bible or Christianity and it has everything to do with the New World Order. Arthur the Baby, a kingly name meaning noble, electrocuted on Halloween, heralded by the media as a miracle baby, born in the east on the day the sun rises, the 25th of December, her mother Stacy, or our Semiramis representation, is convinced he is the son of God, or the sun god, who is the son of Cush, Nimrod, interwoven through making a mockery of the second coming of Christ by way of a psychotic breakdown, culminating in a peak when she meets the character Kyle. Kyle is Stacy's long lost brother and his arrival sets the stage for the breakdown to manifest not only for the viewers but also the other characters in the show. It is then revealed by Stacy's uncle that Stacy's dad had daughters and no sons. That helps Stacy, her sister. Uh, no brother. There were three daughters, no son. The events reach their peak inside a local pub. When Kyle walks in, Stacy says to everyone there that she sees the devil. The character of Kyle is actually Stacy's sister, who is transgender and played by a transgender actor. It is a female with the appearance of a man. Once given some thought, it appears Stacy seeing the devil is not so crazy after all. His emblem is Baphomet, the androgyny, who is the hieroglyph of arcane perfection. He is therefore life and love, but moreover, his letter is I-N, the I, so that he is light and his zodiacal image is Capricornus, that leaping goat whose attribute is liberty. Baphomet represents the union of opposites. The Kyle character is the unification of Baphomet, Satan after all. During the show, wearing a reptile pattern shirt and his pentagram around his neck during the final scene before Stacy is sectioned and diagnosed with the form of psychosis. If you are atheist or agnostic, I would strongly suggest you reevaluate your position and ask yourself the question, if the Bible is nothing but a fairy tale, why do huge corporations do everything they can to simultaneously make a mockery of the Son of God while subliminally piercing your subconscious with the counterfeit birth of their false messiah? Daisy, who do you think Arthur is? He's the Son of God. He's here to save us all. He's coming. Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus. In Hebrew, it means salvation but there is much more to it. Every letter in Hebrew has multiple meanings. So when the letters are combined to make a word, not only does it have the meaning of the word itself, but it has the combined meaning of the letters. When we read the letter by letter from right to left, you get Yod, Shin, Vav, Ayin. And that means the hand that destroys the establishment of the eye. You can run on for a long time.